What's up, you beautiful bastards? Welcome back to the Philip DeFranco Show. I've waited years to do that, and I honestly have no idea why. Anyways, we haven't uploaded in a couple days. If you guys remember, last weekend, the weekend before this, we went to a bachelor party, got extremely drunk, etc., etc. Well, this past weekend was the actual wedding itself, which is why I didn't really upload anything over the weekend. But we are here today, back on the grind, as the kids say, to talk about something regarding Final Fantasy VII Remake, but it's not our typical... You know, discussion videos or like news related videos, updates for the game. It's kind of a weird story about how the Japanese voice actor for Tifa Lockhart actually got threatened by somebody. Now, initially, just reading the headline, I thought they were talking about Britt Baron, which is the English voice actress for Tifa, and I was upset initially. I'm willing to die for her. But it does turn out that the Japanese voice actress for Tifa, Ayumi Ito, I think is how you say her name, is actually attractive as well. So I just want to put it out there I'm willing to die for either of these women. In 2005's Kingdom Hearts 2, Ayumi Ito first voiced Tifa Lockhart and since then has continued to be the character's Japanese voice. Naturally, she will be returning for next year's Final Fantasy VII Remake, but sadly, she has recently received threats of violence. The Senki News reports that earlier this summer, a woman in her 20s allegedly sent threats to Ito's talent agency website, writing, I hate her, Ito, so much I want to kill her and I'm going to stab her in the back of her hand with all my might. This threat was reportedly regarding Ito's participation in a preview showing for a live-action drama. Besides Tifa, Ito acts in feature films and TV shows. Look, like, obviously I'm not laughing at her being threatened, but the threat itself was kind of funny. Like, I don't understand <laughs> stabbing somebody in the back of the hand. It's a very oddly specific way to threaten somebody. And it was all over, apparently, some sort of preview for a live-action drama she's participating in. I guess she's probably an actress on that show or something. Like, they're, they're so mad at her for whatever she said or did or just being a part of this. I guess I don't know what's going on here. They want to kill her. It just doesn't make any fucking sense. That same month, a man in his 30s sent threats to a game company, reportedly writing that he wanted the character Ido was voicing to be recast. The Sankey News does not disclose the name of the threatened company. Sanspo, however, lists the company as a producer of the Final Fantasy series. The man also allegedly wrote, She makes me want to stab her in the eyes and gouges them out with a knife. What the hell? Why would you threaten this absolutely beautiful creature? So apparently he sent this threat to a game company that is presumed to be the producers for the Final Fantasy series. Um, that's Square Enix, right? I mean, unless I'm mistaken there. So in that case, unless she's worked for some other games in the Final Fantasy series or some other Square Enix type of games or whatever, it's got to be over Final Fantasy VII Remake, right? I mean, look, there's really no justification for threatening somebody over this shit anyway, but in both of these cases, like, I, I legitimately have no idea what would upset somebody. Like, she, she's a part of a TV show... And she's a part of some video games. Like, what exactly has she done to garner these threats? Like, if you don't like her as an actress or a voice actress, I get that. But to actually want, like, harm to come to her because of these things, it's kind of weird to me. Not to mention, like, they these threats were sent to, like, you know, her, her talent agency and, like, a game company or whatever, presumably Square Enix. Like, they went out of their way to send these to people. It wasn't just, like, a comment online or, like, a tweet or something. Like, they went out of their way to make these threats known. Or maybe both of these people are, like, super fans or something. I don't know, because there's a lot of celebrities out there that have been killed by, like, their crazy-ass fans. Maybe that's what we got going on here. Maybe they're actually big fans of hers. According to Kyoto News, the man and the woman were not acquaintances, and charges have been filed in both cases. And that's something else that I found kind of interesting, if you want to call it that. We have com two completely different people, one male, one female, have no relation to each other at all. And they're angry at her for apparently separate reasons, but they threatened her within, like, the same time period. I, it's just kind of weird. I wonder, like, what she... Again, what did she even do? I have no idea. Anyways, my dudes, that's pretty much the video. Something a little bit different. Something that I'm not sure how many other Final Fantasy-related channels would even talk about or cover. I'm still waiting on that public demo, Square Enix, you son of a bitch. Either way, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Once step day with more Final Fantasy VII Remake content, turn on my notifications, follow me on Twitter at the Dash and David, and my Discord links to my social networks are in the description and in the outro. Later, guys. Give me a smile, give me forever for a while. Give me forever for a while. Quit acting like a bitch. Or at least less like.